All righty then. It's uh, New Year's Eve, January, th- January, what the heck? December 31st, last day of 2023. And the market's closed, unfortunately, today. So no trading, no soup for us until Tuesday. Holy moly. How are we going to make it? I got to get my uh, trades on. Come on, man. So anyway, this is going to be a really super quick, a quickie weekend update. We got family here and we got a bunch of things planned. All the kids are going crazy. We got grandma here, Uncle Dave, and the rest of the crew. So I just wanted to pop in real quick, make this quick update. So for the last couple of weeks, I haven't put any money glitch trades on. And uh, that's just because it's got the, the market is super, super slow and weird. And just these last couple of weeks of December, you know, over the Christmas holiday, there's just no really good opportunities worth going in. And I also want to get out of all my positions by the, uh, the first of the year. I want to just get out and have a clean slate going into January. January. So the money glitch trades are uh, nothing there, nothing to report on until this next week, the new week of uh, the new year. I'm expecting to put some trades on, so I'll be making some videos on those. I got some cool ideas with those money glitch trades going on into the new year, so keep your eye out for those videos. The um, This is one of our projects that we started, and I've kind of been slacking on a little bit just because I've been so just kind of buried with this zero DTE project that we're doing. I kind of uh, bit off more than I think I can chew. I'm making a video every day, a live trading session, and, but uh, so far, so good. We only have a couple more days on that project, and if you haven't seen it yet, check out my zero DTE project videos. I've I've been doing a trade every single day following this specific system. So we put a trade on every day starting back on December 6th. And so each trading day we put this trade on, this zero DTE strategy that's based off this system that we're just following along as this uh, kind of like an experimental project here. And I'm just recording the entire trading session every morning. And they vary in length from like 20 minutes to some, I think the longest one was two hours. That was a killer. But I think about average is between 30 minutes, 30 and 45 minutes maybe. So I've just been documenting the whole thing. It record each trading session and then keep records and that is doing really 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 well and the, the plan was i'm going to cover that in just a second here actually let's just go do it right now so here is the excel sheet i've been keeping on that strategy and again this is just a service that i'm just following just following the rules exactly we started on 12 6 and here's the totals so the pro this is the profit column we've made a total profit of 835 dollars and this is on a total risk of uh, the most ever at risk was 420. So I'm using that as my risk amount. So 420. So in a month or almost a month since 12, six, we've made $835 on a risk of 420, 420, and we've lost 270. So the totals for this, we take the totals of the win minus the losses. We have a total of 565 which let's pull out the handy dandy calculator, see what that is. So we have a, a total profit of 565 divided by the total at risk. The, the most ever at risk was 420, 420. So that's a return of 134.5% in less than a month, which is really, uh, really cool, really great. I originally said I was going to do this for like a month, 20 trading days. That's a month, but I may continue it on. And if it holds up, I may just continue it on forever and just keep going. And the whole idea with this was to just put up $420 or the most at risk of my own money up front. So th- throughout that first month, risk my money, my 420 bucks. And then at the end of the month, if it was successful, which it has been, uh, we'll just take the money that we made over these last month. We'll take my money, my personal 420 bucks off the table, and we'll just go forward playing only with house money. So my risk, my personal risk is zero at that point. And then I'll try to scale it. And I think this would be great. This would be a really cool strategy to incorporate into my portfolio and to share with all you guys exact rules and everything and see how fast we can compound this money. So that's where we are with that experiment. That's the zero DTE project. Project. So again, you can just look, go to my YouTube channel. You can see all the videos going back. I've just recorded every single session. So you can see in real time how it works, how it's, how it performs. And these are nothing to sneeze at. These results are really excellent. So I'm pleasantly surprised. So let's see if it can hold up. Now, the other thing, the other project we started was the, this one, this is the Fury Road trade where I talked a bit about the Fury Road trade. A lot of people have been asking me about this structure. It's an options income structure. And I use something similar in my own portfolio, similar to this. And I made some videos on that. You can check those out. Check out the Fury Road trades. But I don't really like this structure as as much as the one I use. Uh, this is a cool idea, but this is re- really scaring me. This is, this is kind of like a naked put on the SPX. 
So with this project, I was just going to take the trade as it exists from the guys who created it and put a real trade on, follow it like through a cycle or for a month and then see how I feel after trading it live. Maybe my maybe my fear will disappear and I'll be cool trading with this, but I'm pretty sure not. This is this is kind of unacceptable really. And I can't believe uh, more people don't talk about that. But Anyway, so we're going to trade this as it is, see where we're at after one cycle or one month, and then I'll continue to trade this live, but try to incorporate some of my other tricks and tactics that I'm using in my my main bread and butter strategy, which you can see in my other videos, the one where there is protection to the downside. See if I start to add some of those to this, tweak this and kind of adjust it so that so that we don't have this this huge cliff, this huge drop off. That's that's pain. That's a lot. There's a lot of pain there and a big move down. And with it being a negative Vega trade as well. So anyway, so this trade was put on about a week ago and right now it's up. So that's nice. It's up 486 bucks. So, hey, that's cool. Maybe I'll like trading this. So that's excellent. So I put this trade on. I think I put this trade on the let's zoom in here. This is the SPX. So I think I put it on either one of these two days and I put the position on one of these two days and this position and this down day happened and I did check it at that point and I might have a screenshot of that. But what happened with that day was we were down about 400 bucks on that day after that down day. And then you can see after that down day, we just climbed back up again. So right now we're at a total profit of 485, which is, and that's great. And out of a total uh, possible profit, the blue line, the expiration line, is at 1025, 1025. So we're about 50% of the way profit wise to that blue line. And with any of my other strategies that I would do, I would consider taking this off at uh, uh, maybe 50% right now, maybe, or like a little bit more and seeing if there was a new entry I could just put on. This right here, this this hump looks nice and juicy, but the, I don't think the, the reality of it, unless I'm missing something, but that's part of the whole reason why I'm doing these trades is to see how these actually perform with real money in a real market environment. But well, from what I've seen, like just simulating it, this doesn't really pay off until the very end of the trade. And I don't know if I would stay in these trades all the way to the end. I guess they I guess they do. They let these things expire, I think, or sometimes they'll take the, the shorts off. Once the shorts have reached like 80 or 90% of their profit potential, these naked puts, they remove that. So let's just take a look at what that would look like. They remove it, but they leave on the... Um, they leave on the debit spread. So let's say analyze opposite trade. So in this case, I could buy those back, those two short puts, these guys right here, that creates this um, apocalypse slide. I could take them off for uh, 590. I've sold them for, I sold them for 1000. I could take them off for 590. And then I could just leave this put debit spread on which would be almost a free trade, not quite. You can see the blue line here is 155. What they, what they, what I've seen them do is they, uh, one of the ways that they potentially adjust this is they wait till the, the two naked puts that they sold, they wait till they get to like 90, 80 or 90% of profit, and then they take them off and they leave the debit spread. So let's just kind of simulate what that would look like. So if these got down to a price where I could buy them back, say at $2 right there, it, I could take off those, those two naked puts and leave the debit spread on, which would look like this, which is a cool idea because this is a free trade. No matter what happens in this trade, uh, you're guaranteed to make 625 bucks. That's with this blue line. But you have a total profit potential up on the top side if there were a crash down to make like 5,625, which is a nice payout. This is a, these are the kind of structures that I like and that I want that I'm looking for. Ideas like this where we can tweak trades and adjust them in such a way so that we have risk free positions on like this one and either milk them and adjust them in such a way where we can milk more out of them or let them just sit there till expiration and act sort of like as a potential lottery ticket. But a lot of what I've been seeing is that um, a lot of them are claiming this is the hedge or numerous of these would be the hedge to the, to the door. So let's just kind of look at that for a second and see if that's realistic. Okay, so here's the trade. Let's just kind of look at this and see if we can kind of fake, fake some simulations to see what, what that hedge would do if we had like a couple of those free hedges up there on one of these trades. So here's where our position is right now. Let's say that we were able to buy this back for $2, 200 bucks. So that, that gives us this one free hedge, okay? Now, let's just put on another one of these at the current price. So that is 
how it would look. So say we went through the whole cycle, we put this one on, this is the one we have on right now, right, the trade, and then we're able to buy those two naked puts back for two bucks, like 80%, gives us this free hedge, and then we put another one on, a brand new position, just basically identical to the first one. You can see that there's still an issue there. I mean, there may be a slight hedge there. Let's see if we can like create a couple of these. So let's make this, um, let's say we did five of those and we did 10 of those and then we bought 10 back at 80%. So this would be our, so we, we, if we did a bigger, just a bigger position, we would have this free hedge which is a great hedge when you look at the numbers. I mean, look at the worst case scenario is you make 320, 125, 3,125, you make 28, 125 up here. But again, you have all this extra risk on it. So then let's say we, so we bought these back and then we, let's just say we put on a new one. Let's just put on a one contract. So that's sort of interesting, right? I mean, you can see this gives us a bit of a, um, a nice ramp there. So we're above zero. But if we look at this, you can see how uh, this is sort of an interesting position, I think. This is, uh, no matter what happens to the upside, we make 3,405. We have this ramp up going into this tent. So this is, a, this is a cool position, but the thing is you have to like, in order to get to this position, to get to this place, you have to uh, risk this. You have, to, you have to go through one of these cycles, right? Anyway, this is something which I, I shouldn't be doing right now because I'm gonna get killed. My wife's gonna kill me. I have to be, uh, this is New Year's Eve, and I'm supposed to be down there partying with the family. So let me just finish up the wrap-up. And this is the kind of thing that I want to get into with uh, this this Fury Road trade. And this is what I'm looking forward to this next month, like taking this trade and then trying these different tactics. And I mean, this is just scratching the surface of what I think can be done and see if we can transform this trade into something that I just, I'm just more comfortable trading that doesn't have this drop-off. The last thing is our big boy trades, my main bread and butter trades those are all off right now i have none of those on everything is shut down for the new year's and then once we start trading it on tuesday i'll start to rebuild everything and back up and then the last thing is the uh the vince trade i'm planning like in the new year to, to look for 10 folks who want to do the the uh, vince trade january project with me who are looking it's what basically what we're doing is we're learning this micro futures day trading strategy where we we trade the micro futures and we do it in the realm of uh, the prop accounts. And the prop accounts are these companies that will give you money to trade. You can trade with their money. You have to first pass an evaluation period where you can just show you know how to trade and that you can make money with it. And if you can make uh, like 1500 bucks in profit before you lose 1500 bucks in profit, then you get a real funded account. So I think this is a really great opportunity and it's a cool strategy. And this is I'm doing it with my son and just things have been going swimmingly well. And I'm just looking to do a project in January where I'll look for 10 people who want to do this with me and we'll just kind of go through it as a group. And I think it'll be a lot of fun. So keep an eye out for that email from me. All right, that's it for this update. Have a great New Year's. See everybody Tuesday morning. Check out our trading room. If you'd like to join us in our trading room on Tuesday, ask me about the Vince trade. I'll hook you up in there. And if you'd like to follow me on any of my trades, just, just uh, make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel below or you can go to my website. I'll leave a link to my website in the description below. Just head on over there, sign up for my free email newsletter, and right away you'll get a welcome email from me. Just reply back to that welcome email and I'll get right back to you. All right, that's it for today. Have a happy new year. See you next time.